Aisha and welcome back guys welcome yes. back I'm so excited to be back I am so excited today is gonna be awesome it's gonna be amazing yes. okay before we get started let's close our eyes and let's pray Heavenly Father we would like to thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you that we can gather again, Father God. May today be a blessed day. May we have lots of fun and receive everything we need to receive from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we pray. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Guys. Yes. Clarissa, are you ready? I am. You? Let's go to praise and worship. Yes. Hey. Welcome back kids. Wow. Wasn't that an amazing praise and worship? Mm -hmm. Now today we are holding cups of tea. Mm -hmm. Smells oh, so nice. Doesn't it? Thank yeah. you for making me tea. Cheers. Cheers. Kids, stay tuned because we are going to learn how tea can be relevant in your life. Yay. So kids, today we are learning how tea can be relevant in our lives. The scripture in Colossians 3 verse 16 says that we need to make the Bible part of our lives. We must live the Bible in our lives. Yep. So, for our experiment today, mm. we have two cups of glasses here of gonna, hot water. Are we going to make more tea? Yes! Mm. Yes, I love having a cup of tea with my friend. Okay, so imagine if this cups was our our ourself, and the water inside is our lives. Now this is hot water. Okay, mm -hmm. so what will happen if I put this tea bags inside? I think it, it might change color. Okay, let's see. Yes, you see, Maybe almost so. very instant, mm -hmm. the water changes color. 
the tea makes the water change. Okay, now guys, let's think about this. The Bible says we need to live, put it in our hearts and live by God's word. Okay, so if this is us, the water is our lives and the tea bag is God's word. Look how it will change us. Wow. Flavor. Yes. <laughs> it gives you a lot of flavor. And that is how yeah. the Bible comes into our lives. It gives us flavor so that we can live by it and that we can have a fragrance for the world outside. Do you know, kids, there is a lot of people outside that does not know God. And how are we going to tell them about God? It's by having a godly fragrance. It's by having a godly favor, a, f a flavor. And that is how we will get God's word outside, out to the, the out world, outside. And that is how the Bible changes us. But first, if you want to be a flavored Christian, a Christian with fragrance, what do you need to do? You need to read the Word. You need to you read, read the, the word. word. You need to make it part of your life and let the Word change you. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Ask me a question. It's a very important question. Okay, so I want to know. Yes. If you say we must love the Word, if we read the Word and we love the Word, and you say like the tea, we give off a fragrance. Mm -hmm. If we love the Word and read the Word, people will feel your energy if you come. Definitely. Is that what you mean? That yes. They, that they'll feel your atmosphere, your yes. the energy you bring. Yes. They will feel God's presence. That's absolutely ah, what it okay, means. Okay. What it means is, kids, children of God, Christians are happy people. Yes. They do not walk with frown faces and be angry or anything like that. Children are, of God walks with Christ. And he does, and they do what Christ does. So, to be a flavored Christian, we need God's word in us. But we need to be a fragrance for others. We need to smile. We need to live like God's yeah. word. Guys, was that not just amazing to know that you can be a flavorful Christian? And when you walk into the room, you can emanate God's presence from your body. It is so cool. Like, so cool. Make everybody smile always like Larissa does. So today, we'll be doing the verse, Colossians 3, verse 16. So we say, Colossians 3, verse 16. And it says, let the word of God live inside you. So get up, let's do it one more time. Okay, so it's Colossians 3, verse 16. And he says, let the word of God live inside you. Ooh, it smells so nice. Yes. yes. Guys, we have come to an end for our lesson today. I hope you guys will look different at a cup of tea. Yeah. And how it can be relevant in your life. Remember, God's word can change you. It can make you flavorous and it can give you a fragrance. Yes, sit like this and then we pray together. Father God, thank you so much for this awesome day. We had such, so much fun with each and every one. Father God, I pray that you will bless everybody that is at home and that you will help us take in your word Put it in our hearts so that it may grow in our hearts so that we can be flavorous for you. So that we can have a fragrance for you. And we pray this in Jesus name. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Who are we? Children, Children of God. God. And what are we? Blessed. Blessed.